Revelation 21 And I saw a new heaven and a new earth For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away And there was no more sea And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem Coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride Adorned for her husband And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Take the world. Take the world. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. And the kingdom and dominion, and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven, shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. The portion of Jacob is not like them, but he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art mine, battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock, and with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers, and I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord, which destroyest all the earth, and I will stretch out mine hand upon thee, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. And they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations. But thou shalt be desolate for ever, saith the Lord. <laughs> All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders, GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations, and hopefully, God, they're pushing his words in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to hopefully, the believers and listeners. Whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about your mouth shot? And what I want to get into, all right, um, this afternoon, you know, is dealing with how bad do we want it? You know, how bad do we want, all right, to be, you know, as men, how bad do we want to be joint heirs with your house shot? Okay? And as, you know, women of the faith, you know, how bad do you want to be delivered, you know, to be a part? Okay, of the next, okay, the ruling nation in the earth, man. Okay, to be a part of that first wave of Israelites that's going to have dominion in the earth. The first wave of Israelites that's going to have immortality. Okay, to see the kingdom being built, you know, from scratch. You know, we got a lot at stake. 
You know, the stakes are extremely high in what we're fighting to be a part of, okay? And it, it all comes down to how bad do you want it. And that's shown in action, you know, on camera and off camera. You know, as men, it's shown in action how bad we want it on camera and off camera. Your actions show, okay, how bad you want something. And this was inspired by um, a YouTube short and another uh, clip dealing with um, Alan Iverson. And uh, he spoke, you know, on Kobe. You know, it was two occasions he spoke on, on Kobe. And pretty much Kobe had the same report concerning his work at, okay? So I want to get those two and then we'll roll in the spirit, you know, from there. You know, I got a few precepts I was reading over. And then whatever, you know, brothers, you know, post, you know, we'll go from there. So let's start here. Let's get the first one. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. It's time. It's time to start. You're ready to start your business. The best for people. Thing. So I'm gonna start to hear this the first one, you know. Dang it's another YouTube short I want to get, you know. But we're gonna see, you know, the name all right that Kobe had, you know, off, you know, off camera, you know, because the greatness that we seen on camera was stored behind the scenes off camera, man. You know, and yeah, he has the same report all the way around. You know, and we want this same report in the spirit. So I'm gonna let it play and uh we go. Like you which you said about crack. Okay. Okay. Uh, put a ball up. So, like, uh, that was. Thing. So, so, you did a pattern skipping practice. You went to practice. I had a pattern skip. Yeah. Oh, they were doing drills that day. No, it, it's something I was acting. And uh, oh, God. I come in there, I feel like, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm, you, you, I'm just telling you what you, what you flashy make sound flashy. I ain't doing that. Yeah. I, I ain't cool. cool. Something else. He was the guy. When we in the club, against the gym. Oh shit! You know what I mean? Do, do, and 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 that's what separated him from a whole lot of dudes, even myself. Do you ever? But do you ever think? So you hear, you know the report, <laughs> okay? That Kobe had, you know, Iverson said, you know, he wouldn't come to practice sometime because he stayed out too late, you know. And he was like, "Shit, I'm not Kobe." <laughs> and he gave the report on Kobe of Kobe, you know, while everyone else was in the club. All right, Kobe would be in the gym. Okay, Kobe had a different drive. Kobe had a different desire. All right, and that's why you've seen the great separation from him and everyone else okay you said it's choppy was it was it choppy to anyone else did it come through did it come through clear i know it was clear on my end did it come through clear for anybody else you know was the sound and audio good you know but as we wait for their response but um yeah you see you know how pretty much he said like that's what separated it was choppy. I oh, don't see it was plain as hell over here. 
<laughs> what I tell you? Hey, I don't get how I was chopping. It was super smooth on this side. Let me try to play it again and see. I'll just let me know if it's choppy when I play it again. Yeah, it's crazy here. Did you pre was you a was you, uh, like real I can't wait with to practice? This. Was you was you serious about your practice or did you or were you? I ain't give a fuck about, about drills. Okay. But if you play five on five, uh, then I don't want to do that. Yeah. I ain't and care play this way. Play, you know what I mean? Like, you already knew that. Throw the ball up and let's go. Like uh -huh. that was my thing. You know what I mean? Like so you then, was, so you so you did so you didn't have a pattern of skipping practice. You went to practice, but you no, just I didn't like certain I, I, had a, I, had a, I had a pattern of skipping. Yeah. yeah. Because they were doing drills that day. No. It, it, sometimes I was out too late. And, uh, oh, God and when I come in there, I don't feel like it. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm a man. I'm a human. You are you 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 I, you I'm, a hot, on, man. I'm just telling you what you what you want me to lie to you, make it sound fly to you? I ain't doing that. Yeah. I ain't had, I ain't had, I, it, I was not Kobe. Kobe was something else. He was the guy, like I said, when we're in the club, that motherfucker is in the gym. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Do, do, and, and, and that's, that's what separated him from a whole lot of dudes, even myself. Do you ever, but do you ever think to yourself, though, like, okay, I, I'm, I'm, So I hope it came through clear that time. How it sound that time, brother? Let me know. You know, brother, let me know how that sound. Hey, that's a screen screen for it to be smooth on this side and choppy on y'all. You know. Okay, come. Yeah, I don't know why I did that at first, but but you hear, you know, you know from Iverson, all right, he pretty much was like <laughs> he would miss practice based on you know him clubbing too late, you know he would miss practice, you know, and then he just like shit, I ain't Kobe, <laughs> you know, like Kobe, he was something else, you know, he was different, you know, he, you know, would be in the gym, you know, while we was at the club. Okay, and what was happening while they was at the club, okay, and Kobe was doing what? He was at the gym, and he was separating himself from the rest. And then the truth, you know, as we, <laughs> all right, as we, you know, expire to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, what type of mind frame, what type of dedication should we have? Kobe just, you know, because he has a corruptible crown, you know, that legacy of his greatness that's why ai and kobe have a different legacies they're both great players both extremely you know skillful but there's different legacies attached to their name and we see the root root of it okay it was based on how bad kobe wanted iverson you know he was content with just being you know a superstar <laughs> all right you know he's extremely talented okay but he reached a level to where he was content and he was more concerned with, you know, the lifestyle his skill set offered than the legacy he could get off his skill set. Okay? So I got one more short. You know, I also got another story about AI. I mean, uh, I mean about Kobe. And then we'll get into some precepts, you know? Um, let's see. Yeah, brother. Yeah, that's why I'm starting to go live more on this channel. 
because like I said, they pretty much shadow ban GMS uh, Prisoners of Yahweh Shah and GMS Kingdom Minor 144. You know, so I just go live on these channels, Lord Will, and just repost them on those two channels. <laughs> you know, but yeah, they my live streams have been hidden, you know, for the last month or so. So, you know, Lord Will will get it back, you know, on this. So, well, yeah, let's go to the other clip real quick, and then we'll get some precept. Let's go over here. Let's see. I think this is short. Is this story true that you landed in LA and Kobe picked you up? He Black Range Road. Yeah, he picked you up because he, he wanted he just wanted to chop it up with you. And after y'all go out to eat or whatever, you decide to go out. He tell your ass, I'm dropping you off to the hotel. This is my stop. I'm going to work out. I'm going to the gym. Is that a true story? He, he took me out to eat, and I said, what you getting ready to do? <laughs> I'm going to the club. He said, I'm going to the gym. And that was him. That's, that's where that greatness came from, because his work ethic Sick. Second to none. was just But sick. I guarantee you, it's probably a handful of people on the other team that he was playing, and he did that. Because you know Kobe, he ain't talking to nobody through the game. Damn sure not about another team. So I'm just saying, that's sort of respect he had for you, Cole. Yeah. He ain't going to pick up nobody. He he, hell nah. Hell nah. He was so studying you the whole time. Yeah. He was a sicko when it came to that kind of shit, trying to find any kind of advantage or angle he could possibly get. Is this story true that you landed in L.A. and Kobe picked you up? He, Black Range Road. Yeah, he picked you up because he, he, wanted, he just wanted to chop it up with you. And after y'all go out to eat or whatever, you decide to go out. He tell your ass. I'm dropping you off to the hotel. This is my stop. I'm going to work out. I'm going to the gym. Is that a true story? He, he took me out to eat, and I said, what you getting ready to do? <laughs> I'm going to the club. He said, I'm going to the gym. And that was him. That's, that's where that greatness came from, because his work ethic Sick. Second enough. was just. Hmm. So, yeah, you see. You know, that's just who Kobe was, you know, just the work that the um Kobe had, you know, when he came to his craft, you know, and I'm bringing this out, you know, because like as we're going to get into, and I'll start off with this and then we'll go get into the blue leather, all right, get into some words. All right, so this is the brother in the quorum. All right, this is the brother in the quorum. Five, Second Peter 1 and 10 said, Wherefore, the rhythm brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you should never fail. Okay, and, and Kobe's work ethic was a great example, you know, of uh, 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 diligence, you know. But he did it to, to, to get what? A corruptible crown. <laughs> okay. How much more us are incorruptible? So let's get that in, in the Corinthians, man. <laughs> you know, you, you don't have to question if Kobe wanted it or not. You know, there's certain athletes, you know, they make it to a certain level. You know, they get certain money, certain fame, then they get content, you know, which, you know, it's corruptible crown in sports, okay? But we use these things for an example because Apostle Paul, you know, he would use sports as an example because of Corinthians, you know, you go to the current, it was like a uh, like a Las Vegas, you know? So it was heavy into sports and different things. So the Apostle Paul would use those analogies concerning sports, okay? He would use those analogies concerning sports and, you know, running and boxing and all these different things, you know, to, to, to show how we should be fervent in the ministry to receive this prize, the ultimate prize, man okay to be immortal rulers okay joint heirs with you how shot we only have one chance to do this man okay this first corinthians 9 24 it says know ye not that they which run in a race run all but one receiveth the prize so run that you may obtain okay and every man that scribe it 
for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now, when you go here to temperate, okay, because it's a balance, you know, and every brother got their own lot, but it's all about maximizing whatever our lots are, man. You know, whatever our lot, lots are within the ministry, man, whatever we've been given, it's all about maxing out with it, man. You know, when you run a business, what do you want? You want max profit. Okay. <laughs> you go, you go in the business to get max profit, man. Okay. No matter what that business is, man. You know, uh, 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 you know, a little mom and pop donut shop. Okay. And Coca-Cola, they're both different. They, 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 their businesses on, on different scales. But both of those business, the mom and pop donut shop, okay, and Coca-Cola, they both on what? Maximum profits. With the resources they have, with, you know, they want to what? Maximize profit, man. And that's what we want to do, man. Okay? It says, let's get this word in the Greek. Strong's G, 1467. Ekratuamai. 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 Okay? For temperate. It says to to be self-controlled, continent. Okay? And it takes self-control not to party too much, not to be indulged in the flesh. Okay? Not to get caught up and distracted in the affairs of this life. It takes a self-control, you know? And then there's also a self-control, you know, not trying to do too much to where you're unbalanced okay so self-control and balance is is, is is heavy you know in maximizing you know our talents man all right it's said to exhibit self-government conduct one self temporally now when you go here it says in is in a figure drawn from athletes who when preparing themselves for the games abstain from unwholesome food wine and sexual indulgence okay so athletes will refrain from particular things to maximize their chance of winning okay they will they will sustain themselves from different pleasures and you know they will restrain from different things to maximize okay on their chance of winning they will go all out <laughs> okay they, they will go all out for what? A corruptible crown. So how much more should we be willing to do things? And this is not saying, you know, be a monk in the truth, okay? But this is, is saying, okay, how bad do we want it? What are we willing to do without for a while? What are we willing to cut off because it's a hindrance? What, you know, how bad do we want it? <laughs> At the end of the day, how bad do we want it, man? You see, and it all shows in action. Okay, how bad you want something shows in action. That's why the scriptures say this. Let's get this in Matthew. Okay, let's get that in Matthew 6. All right, this is Matthew 6 and 21, short and to the point. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Okay? And we seen what Kobe treasure was. It was it was it was basketball greatness. That's what he treasured. So his mind was always working out the gym. Okay? So what whatever we treasure, that's where our mind is going to be the majority of the time. However much we cherish or uh, treasure something, okay, because, hey, we have things prioritized, okay? And what you treasure the most, what we treasure the most, that's where our heart is going to be the most, okay? And there's no way that this truth, this ministry should be second, third, fourth on the things we treasure like nah this is like this, this, this truth should be way up there and everything else is a far second man okay so that's why hey, even the apostles they like look it's time to be on fire man it's time to, <laughs> to, 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 to crank out man okay this is we on the home stretch man this thing's finna get shut down this is our opportunity to 
showcase to you how about she mouth shy how bad we want this thing man all right and one thing we noticed what kobe was doing was what he was separating himself okay when you go here proverbs 18 to 1 through desire a man having separated himself seek it and in the middle of with all wisdom through desire a man having separated himself okay begins with separate seek it and in the middle of with all wisdom okay because you hey we got it, it it's just like um when 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 kobe would separate himself and he would go to the gym well this this bible is like our gym <laughs> this word you know getting into words getting into you know precepts getting into the backdrop what was going on you know during this time and what was happening during this time and you know that's us get that's us being in the gym you know <laughs> then you separate yourself and, and, and really tap in according to your according to your ability man you know every brother you know what I'm saying different talents different gifts okay but we all have access to the gym you know brothers have different gifts and different talents and different portions but we all have access to 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 the gym <laughs> okay if a brother can post that in um Sirach 39 and 1 all right i'll get a couple off the uh comment board okay see the brothers lighting it up all right this is the brother uh Yana guy israel benjamin 144 first corinthians 15 15 and 57 but thanks be to the most high which gives us the victory through our lord yahweh shah i can see we're we're not fighting all right we we know that yahweh shah has the victory we're fighting to be a part of the winning team see we know all right the outcome we know how this turns out we're fighting to be a part of the winning team the victory is already on lock okay it ain't as if we you know gotta come up with a strategy to beat esau elam that's already done okay the main thing is conquering ourselves right now man so we can be a part of the winning team because the biggest resistance comes from us we're we're our, we're always going to be our worst enemy because no one's around us more than us man that flesh that old man and that nigga lazy that nigga want to do the bare minimum that nigga want to just you know hope he slide in some type of you know with the spirit like nah let's get it <laughs> okay and that's the battle that, that we battle with but the victory is already won in your shot man we won the war we just fighting to be a part of the of the uh of the victor which is your house shot okay then we indulge in the spoils all right first corinthians 15 and 58 therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast unmovable okay i want this what this word steadfast let me pull this up so i can get that word steadfast mm -mm. this first corinthian 15. this first corinthians 15 and 58 it said therefore my beloved brethren be you steadfast unmovable always abounding and bounding is going above the fixed measure in the work of the lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the lord so we're not doing this for nothing like the drive is to keep going because it's a reward that's the motivation okay the lord has a great reward for his men like the lord is taking account what's being done <laughs> you see you're not doing this to be seen you're not doing this to be cute like nah we won't we won't we, we we should have a drive and a desire all right to get everything that we can out of this man we just want to maximize with the talent that the lord was get, has given us man okay <laughs> you know this is um Firm. 
if as I might have to look it up on another definition. Let me see. Let's see what Google give us. If a brother can find another definition for steadfast. Yep. I guess I'll put it up here. And blow it up a little bit. So let's put this up. All right. Steadfast. So I want to get into some of these synonyms. Steadfast. It said result uh, resolutely or dutifully firm and unwavering. It says loyal, faithful, committed, devoted, dedicated, dependable, reliable, steady. Okay. Constant. <laughs> you see? Stead, this is what steadfast mean. So it ain't like, you know, this just a, a off the wall. No, nah, this word, we're commanded to be steadfast. <laughs> okay? Single-minded. Okay? Relentless. Okay? This is what these words mean. And this is what's expected of us in, the, in this ministry, man, to really be relentless with this thing, man. Okay? We at Esau because it's a spiritual war and Esau was losing, man. So it's time to be on this nigga neck, man. Okay, this nigga lied about everything. We telling the truth about everything, man. And the Lord with us. <laughs> okay? It's the time to be at this nigga neck, man. Okay? We ain't, what else we got? What what the, that's the other thing. What what are we doing is so goddamn great in America? What the hell? do we got going on that's, that's just so goddamn great man you know brothers in different situations circumstances and it is what it is man you maneuver you know how you can but overall what the hell are we doing is so goddamn great man okay in america man okay <laughs> come on man there's another one from the brother gms look up it's ecclesiastes 9 and 10 it said whatsoever Thy hand find it to do. This is one I was looking for too. The water brother. This is the brother I not out of Memphis. Okay. It says, Do it with thy might, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge or wisdom in the grave whither thou goest, man. So we got breath in our body, man. This is what it's about. <laughs> okay. We got breath in our body, man. The energy. Okay. This what this is what it's all about. Is this, man. Okay. This is why John the Baptist said, Hey. He must increase, I must decrease, man. Okay, it's, it's more, the, the longer we in this thing, the more and more it's about how shy what he got coming to the earth than about these whack ass lives we got here, man. <laughs> okay, it, this, this is it, man. You see? It's another one from the brother. Um, nah, GMS look up. This is Sirach 43 and 30 says, when you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will he far exceed. Or when you exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for you can never go far enough. You know, because what we're going to get is going to far exceed everything that we put into this. Okay, the, the time that we've invested into this truth. What we're going to get as a return is going to far exceed, okay, what we've put in. So we can never go far enough, okay? Because you can work 40 hours and let's say you're getting paid $20 an hour. Well, you're going to get paid based off that measurement, okay? Well, what we're doing, all right, for this temporal time, we're going to get an immortal reward. You can't wait. You can't work an eternity to receive an eternity. It's impossible. So what we're going to get far exceeds, okay, what we're doing for it. <laughs> no matter what we did for it, man, on this side, man. <laughs> okay? So it's the, this, is, this, is, this is a form of appreciation, man, for the Lord's goodness, man. <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. 
Yeah, just like a brother said, man. <laughs> separate, separate yourself from the wicked Eve is a good start, you know. And, and you see why, you know, your house shot and deal with women, man. And, you know, you be, because you, like, damn, how you do that? But then, you know, the women of this society, you be like, I, I see, <laughs> you know, I see, you know, Apostle Paul didn't deal with women, you know, and they have those, you know, hey, those, those, those great bodies of works, you know, but, you know, every brother got their perfect gift, you know, but the the Eve that's into this world, those succubus, you know, worldly Eve that just drain you like, yeah, you got to get away from that. You know, the Lord, you know, he'll give you some, you know, that could be an asset, you know, they can, they can, they can, you know, uh, you know, be an asset to you in the ministry, you know, but that, that, that arguing, I'm talking about arguing with the mother and, you know, you trying to do a lesson and she, you know, got Cardi B, you know, in the background, uh, you know, <laughs> nah, that ain't the play, you know, but if you like it, I love it. All right, but there's a great start to separate from all right these silly ass women <laughs> of this world, man. Okay, this is GMS look up Hebrew 6 and 10. It said, For the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work, so let you know this a work, okay, and labor of love, man. Like going into words, going into the Hebrew, you know, going, you know, researching, you know, sometimes one precept. Sometimes you'll find yourself, you know, reading one precepts and then it'll lead to like 20 minutes of watching documentaries and, you know, going into it like, damn, you know, going into the customs, you know, of the Bible. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, that's going the extra mile. Okay. That's their work. That's, that's the labor. The Lord is going to honor that. The Lord is going to honor all that, man. Everything that we did, the Lord is going to, he's going to, add that to us in the kingdom man everything that we're doing the lord is going to honor that man okay we serve a righteous power hebrews 6 and 10 and it says for the most high is not unrighteous okay to forget your work and labor of love which you have showed towards his name and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister okay this is a service and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of the hope unto the end. So the Lord, through Paul, is saying, show the same diligence. Okay, just going back to what we said earlier, you know, uh, uh, Coca-Cola. All right, hold on. Let's do a trip. All right, you have Coca-Cola. It's a major corporation. But then you have your mom and pop donut shop. Okay? They in way two different brackets as far as, as profit. Okay? But both of them still want to maximize profits. <laughs> they still have to show the same diligence to maximize profits, even though one is a much bigger operation and one is a much smaller operation. They still show the same diligence, man. <laughs> okay, to get their profit back, man. Okay, they have to study. They, they have to study the markets. Okay, they trying to keep the overhead low. They're trying to see how to be efficient. You know, we're getting product out meeting customer commands all right customer demands okay even though one's a major operation and one's a smaller they still have to show diligence all right to maximize on profit man okay verse verse 12 said that you be not slothful Ooh. but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise man Okay, and the flesh wants to be slothful. The flesh wants to chill. The flesh wants to do the bare minimum. Okay, the flesh wants to do the bare minimum, man. All right, but the spirit, like I said, the flesh is is weak, but the spirit is willing. You know, so let me get this. We end it here. Let me get this in the book of uh, so rock. I believe it's the sixth chapter.
All right, this is um, so this is rock six and started 22. It says, For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifesting to many. The, the fact that we have this wisdom, she's not manifest, she's not manifesting many, just like many people don't make it to the NBA, it's a very small percent. Many people don't make it to the NFL, it's a very small percent. So as we here, okay, that's not making it. It's what we do while we're here. You know, so the fact that wisdom has, the Lord has allowed wisdom to open herself unto us, you know, we, 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 we've entered an opportunity, okay? It says, give ear my son, receive my advice and refuse not my counsel and put thy feet in her fetters and thy neck into her chain Bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her buns. Okay? You can see, like, Iverson, he ain't want to do the drills. He want to get drunk. He really, you know, he practiced five on five every now and then, but he didn't, he was grieved with the buns that it took to become great, to become, you know, elite great, you know, because he was, you know, he was a great player, but that elite level of greatness he didn't want to deal with their responsibility, man. The discipline that came with it. Kobe made himself a prisoner to being great, man. A prisoner to getting better. Okay? And the truth, we want to, hey, we got we make ourselves a prisoner to this thing, man. <laughs> okay? It says, come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. Okay? Search and seek and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. For at the last, thou shalt find her rest. And that, sh and that shall be turned to joy. And see, this is our championship, the kingdom. Well, we get the hey, that eternal rest, man. Okay? We're going all out now temporarily for an eternal position of rest, man. Okay? It said, then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee. Okay, in the times we're coming into now, all right, the work that we're putting in now, this is creating favor for the times of chaos, man. Okay, and once you make it through the chaos, her chains a robe of glory. Okay, hey, rulership, man. Okay, immortal royalty. <laughs> you see, for there, for there is a golden ornament upon her and her bands. The the the, the 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 you know we put ourselves in bondage to this wisdom we put ourselves in bondage to this ministry but guess what it's turning to our purple lace the perks that come from what we what we're doing now thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor and shall put her about thee as a crown of joy <laughs> okay as a crown of joy this is what it's leading to that 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 the incorruptible crown okay which is going to be immortal okay these are going to be eternal leg legacies this is our eternal legacy that we're you know putting together you know through what we're doing now man <laughs> you know but that's the point like i said i just want to bring that out you know i watching that you know i thought it was interesting and also lord will you brothers you know and your few sisters will edify to the next time i say shalom Call me a shallow bottle bottle DTA soon, shallow one.